A camping we will go, a camping we will go Hi ho Dario, a camping we will go Are we there yet, Mr. Ratburn? It's not far now! <sighs> Are we there yet? It's not far now! Is that everyone? It is now! I still can't believe DW's going camping with us. Yeah, I'm the only kid in class who has to bring his little sister along. Now, Arthur, be nice to your sister. You know that with your parents out of town, you couldn't have come on this trip unless she came too. That would have been fine with me. All right, class. Don't forget that one reason we're taking this class camping trip is to view the wildlife. Everyone gets a notebook. And whoever sees the most mammals will earn a special certificate. Now, hmm, just a moment. Does anyone know where the trail map is? Remember, I'm going to give a special certificate to the person who sees the largest variety of mammals. Mark your sightings in your notebooks. Let's see if there's anything I could use in my backpack. Oh, hey, I guess the map was in my backpack after all. Mr. Radburn, I found the map. Excellent, Arthur. I knew we'd find it eventually. Okay, class. Let's go. My pack is so heavy. Well, class, here we Now, we'll just... Whoops! Ow! Mr. Ratburn, are you all right? Hmm, I seem to have twisted my ankle. I'm afraid I won't be able to walk on it. Mr. Ratburn's hurt! Uh-oh! The implications are frightening. I'll be fine. I just need to rest my ankle for a little while. Arthur, would you pitch my tent so I'll have somewhere to lie down? Pitch a tent? I've never pitched a tent before. Look at all these parts. How do they go together? <laughs> Click on a piece of the tent to pick it up. Click it again to put it down. Fit the parts of the tent together just like the one in the picture. Use the colors to help you match the pieces together. Good! There! Those go together! Good! Now I'm getting somewhere! Now I'm getting somewhere! That looks good! Almost done! Almost done! There! I did it! Now for the cover! There! All done! Finish!
finished, Mr. Ratburn. I pitched the tent. Thank you. Don't worry, Mr. Ratburn. I'll take care of you. I know lots of first aid. Ow! Whoops, sorry. Be careful with my ankle, D.W. Please. You guys, Mr. Ratburn can't walk. He's in his tent with D.W. right now. What are we going to do? Well, at least we've got some food. Bad news. I just went to look for a snack and our food bag's been stolen. Dragged away. Bears! Oh, great! Now our food is gone, too! We're going to have to think of some way to get out of here without Mr. Ratburn. Does anyone have any ideas? I brought my two-way radio. I'll just call for help. <laughs> oh, no, it's broken. Now what are we going to do? I've got an idea. It's something my dad told me about. We could climb to a really high place and then use a mirror and sunlight to flash a signal in Morse code. That's a neat idea, Pinky. What do you think, Brain? Yes, that's an option. Or, with the right parts, I could fix my radio. Then we could use it to call for help. Another great idea! I have a suggestion, Arthur. Why don't you go fly a kite? <laughs> Francine, this is an emergency. Try to be helpful. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. We could use a kite to signal for help. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that would work. Well, it seems to me that we've heard three workable solutions. Francine's kite, Binky's signal mirror, and my radio. Whose idea do you think we should pursue? Great! A radio it is! But do you have all the parts you need? Well, almost. I have a lot of parts from a pocket hydrometer project I was working on. But I still need a small, battery-operated device, a magnet, some small springs, some wire, and a metal dish. Great! Now, let's go look for these things. The sooner we find them, the sooner we can get out of here. brain it's coming along well but I still don't have everything I need I knew there was some trick when I saw how small this tent bag was box to save your game there. 